with a spy video camera uh, clock. So this is the display screen, what it looks like uh, on the back. There is an on and off switch, a an aux cable, line in, and USB. It does not come with a micro USB, or sorry, micro SD chip, but I've got one in there, just a small 8 gig one that I had from a phone. It comes with headphones, let's see, and um, an aux cable so that you can plug it in somewhere else um, on the top. Oh, and this charger. The charger I've got plugged into the wall. That red light means it's on, not that it's not charged. Um, as you can see, it says the charge up in the corner. And here's, well, the time is off, but here it is. So if you hit OK, it gets you into a menu screen. It's got um, camera and DV, and this is audio record and PC camera. I think that I'm actually in, yeah, I was actually in the, um, the spy camera to start. But okay, so this is where we start. This is the screen that you normally see. It's got an audio player and a video player and a uh, picture view, um, radio, line in. So if you want to play music and system setup. So if you click into them, this one has kind of basic features. Um, if you go into, let's do video, because I have videos. If you go into video and you hit the volume up and down, then it goes into this secret file thing. So this is where I have all of my videos. I have mine set to be um, motion activated. So um, when whenever I walk into the room, it turns on. So here's the audio, no files. I hit my two buttons, reading files. No files, I don't, I don't have it on audio. But you can go through all of them. Or if you just do it on the home screen, it will send you to the main menu, which is how you can see what's happening. Hello. Um, audio record, camera. And this is all of the settings. I have mine set on motion detector. It tells you how long the segments loop, whether it will record over what's already recorded. So loop, um, a night mode. What I found with the night mode wasn't all that great. I mean, I could kind of tell, but I think that the range that I had it at was outside of the night mode range. So it wasn't um, quite, I wasn't close enough to see what I, what I wanted to see at night. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it seems pretty easy. It also will unplug. I had mine unplugged for, um, gosh, I think it's six hours. The battery started to flash that it was dying. So not bad. I don't feel like it's an all night thing, but you know, I think that it is very close. So I'm gonna exit back out of my secret area and to the, the main area, plug it back in because I don't mind mine being plugged in all the time. And, Voila, your night camera.